After 80 plus years in business, Joanne's Fabric and Craft Store is filing for bankruptcy on its 800 plus stores. Hey, what's going on, Rockstars? It is Monday, March 18th, 2024, and that's the news from today is that Joanne Crafts and Fabrics, just known as Joanne now, publicly traded since 2021, they are filing for bankruptcy. Apparently, they have $1 billion to 10 billion in outstanding debt and liens and they're only worth 500 million to a billion in assets a lot of their biggest creditors and lien holders are fabric um, suppliers that they owe hundreds of millions of dollars to fedex i guess shipping they owe money to and some real estate companies probably on the properties they operate over 800 stores i think it's like 820 or 830 and they have been in business over 80 years since uh like the 1940s early 40s late 30s they've been around a long long time their competitors michaels and hobby lobby are both privately owned companies and that is what joanne is going to do they are not going out of business there's a difference y'all between bankruptcy and going out of business so bankruptcy is when a lot of companies try to get cash they try to go to investors they try to restructure their debt uh try to make their payments a little lower try to do things they can to hang on and they're doing this by giving the people they owe money to, mostly the people they owe money to, ownership of the company privately. So it's going to take them off the NASDAQ, which they're a part of. They're currently trading at 20 cents a share, which is super low. They were on the NASDAQ as a public company, not going to be anymore. They will be private. So it's difficult with a private company like Michaels and Hobby Lobby to see what kind of sales they're doing. Same will happen with Joanne that we won't be able to see as much as we see now. Now, normally when I see these stories, these companies don't end up with a good ending or a good outcome. It doesn't, it doesn't end well for them. Uh, I did a video, you can search YouTube for Rockstar Flipper Toys R Us, where I said when Toys R Us started doing their bankruptcy restructuring the first time, that they weren't gonna make it. I was certain that Toys R Us was just simply not gonna make it. The competition from Walmart and Target is bad enough. Never mind that Amazon was crushing them. Never mind that eBay crushes them. There's just way too much competition in that toy sector, right? It was just not going to happen. When Sears announced it, department stores are a dying breed. Malls are dying. I said, Sears isn't going to last. JCPenney's not going to last. A lot of these department stores, you know, won't last. I'm surprised Macy's has hung on as long as it has. It just doesn't end well for them. However, with a Joann's and the way that Michaels and Hobby Lobby perform, I think there's a niche for Joanne. People like to put their hands on um, fabric. How many people in my comment section shop at Joanne or uh, buy material or, or uh, items there to make items that you sell, maybe on Etsy or eBay? Uh, maybe you actually buy their discounted clearance stuff and resell it and flip it. How many people? Is there anybody in my comment section that actually used Joanne as a source for either selling or material to do selling with? Uh, maybe even backdrops or um, photo setups or any of that stuff. I, I'm curious. But I think they have a particular consumer product and a particular consumer base that would love to still shop at Joanne. I don't think they're going to do it with 830 some odd stores. I think they're going to have to cut back stores. I think they're going to have to push the online for what they can. Again, online is tough with a store like a Joanne and a craft and a fabric store because a lot of the customers want to see it the color and touch the fabric and the material and feel it and know what they're buying from a store like that. So they definitely have a customer base. There's definitely a need for it, but it's very, very difficult. If we think back to COVID, to coronavirus, 2020, 2021, things like Pokemon cards, trading cards, Magic the Gathering, puzzles, games, um, and crafts, they all did really, really well because we couldn't go outside. We had to do things that you could do in the house. Video games blew up, right? So that's why they did so well and went public in the in the early 2020s. <laughs> the early 20s. Not even talking about the 1920s anymore. The early 2020s. They had people at home buying craft stuff, getting it ordered, shipped from online, and they did well. Not so much anymore. After everybody got back out, after everybody started um, shopping and going out in towns, there wasn't as much stay home stuff. We see that crash all across the market in the last two to three years. So that's where we're at. We've come full circle. That's the story. Uh, not going out of business, just filing bankruptcy. In my opinion, reference this video down the road in a year or two. I think they'll make it. I think they'll hang on. I think there's a niche market for them. Whether it's online, whether it's in the store, whether it's a mix of that, I don't know how many stores it'll take. I don't know, but I believe that Joanne has a future. So we'll have to wait and see. 
what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section as always. Uh, I'm going to cut this video here. It's uh, five minutes. So as always, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. Uh, all about business, reselling, flipping, wholesaling, Shopify, eBay, Amazon, you name it. We talk about it here on the channel. Unfortunately, we talk about the scammers sometimes, part of uh, life, part of the business. And uh, reselling and fulfillment in one. I do everything. I have a team. We take your photos, make your listings, store your inventory, ship it out for you every day, fulfill it for your customers. We do the whole thing. If you want to know more, email me at rockstarflipper at gmail.com. Um, it supports eBay, Posh, Macari, Shopify, Etsy, and uh, list perfectly. So we can list on any of those platforms that you want, and we'll search every morning for your solds. We'll print them out, we'll ship it, and we take care of everything. It's all in one. So rockstarflipper at gmail.com. We look forward to working with you. Uh, you can send us 25 items, 50 items, 100 items. Get started small, test it out, and then you can um, commit the rest of your inventory down the road. You don't got to do it all at once. So uh, look forward to hearing from everybody. Look forward to you watching this video, commenting, liking, doing all that cool stuff. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later.